contingency covered here in yeah. every, every different direction. I think we're ready for whatever it is. You know, we're planning on it being wet and windy, and if it's not, then it's pretty easy to make that kind of adjustment. So guys are definitely prepared for wet balls, and, you know, we have experience here, and at least some of us do, uh, playing in a game like this. So be fun. Get out there and play in the mud a little bit. I heard the tiger ray playing in the background. Was that you guys at practice? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's the crowd noise we've been playing. Tim McKay started last week, he did. you know, listed as a starter this week. Just what have you seen from him this year in his growth? Really physical, um, has more pancakes than anyone, you know, in the run game. He's improved himself a lot in other areas. Um, we look at, you know, him and Spees um, as co-starters, you know, and it's really the guys that are grading out the best are being rewarded for that first series. And then there, there's a rotation that goes on with Anthony Belton as well with uh, Spees. So, you know, Proud of Tim for his growth. He's gotten a lot better and has developed and worked hard. I know you don't like to make a lot about the rankings, especially till the end of the season, but is there any intimidation from the player, for the players are feeling, knowing that's a top 10 matchup in that sense? We're not intimidated. No, we're excited. You know, we're looking forward to the opportunity and we got two good teams, you know, playing for a lot. And whether you guys think we're good or not, we're excited to get down there and compete, you know, and play against a team we have a lot of respect for. What status are you injured? Injured? I'm not going to tell you. It's supposed to be mostly dry before that game, especially. I mean, people thought that the hurricane was going to have other effects, but are you guys watching that every hour? I mean, do you guys have people watching that to kind of change the game plan at any point during practice? Yeah, I mean, we're well informed. You know, our, our operations staff and, and uh, Bill Corgan are communicating with all the different people out there. We're talking to Clemson folks as well, so there's a lot of good communication. I remember back in 2016, you would reach out to some of the families that were in the path. Anything with like, say, Brandon Cleveland or Shane McDonough or, or maybe even Corey Dorton, any heart to hearts this week about what their families might be going through? Yeah, no, I haven't heard anything. Um, we definitely are reaching out. I know our position coaches are as well. Um, I saw some pretty crazy pictures of what's going on down there. So, you know, we've reached out. It's, it's scary, you know, so hopefully everybody's safe and they've done the right, you know, the different things they need to, to, to protect what they can. You know, I think there's going to be a lot of, a lot of damage control down there. I understand you're traveling down a little bit early. Any yeah. other adjustments? Yeah. No, just the you know, best window to travel was we get out of town a little bit earlier for what's happening in South Carolina. So we're just trying to beat it. Obviously, it's a new season, but how much does it help that there's so many guys from last year's team that mm -hmm. No, they had the proof. They can beat Clemson. Yeah, I mean, we believe we can beat anybody. And um, you know, this team obviously did a lot of things last year that hadn't been done here in a while, you know. And so it's a very confident group. It's, it's definitely not a group that um, thinks that they're just going to show up and win. They know that there's things they have to do right, you know, in the preparation and the practice and, you know, go down there and play a really good team you know, in a place that for five years nobody's won. So, you know, there's a lot against us that way. But, it, you know, as far as the matchup, our guys are very confident if they play the way that they practiced and make the plays they need to make and, and strain for as long as it takes that they can win. Speaking of practice, Dave, did you have the practice that you wanted this week of stacking the days, yeah. the days and everything? Yeah, it's been a really good week, you know, and we challenged them. It's loud out there, you know, so there wasn't, it's not all clean, you know, and that's why you practice, but it got better and better as the week went on. The effort and the, the intensity was excellent. All right, thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.